these are the items that I'm working with today. We have the Torque X uh, dual action buffer polisher. We have three pads that it came with. This is a finishing pad, the black one, um, light medium polishing pad, the white, and then this is a, a more coarse cutting pad in the orange. We have the pad conditioner and cleaner as well. And then we have our buffing and cutting and polishing compounds here. These are chemical guy compounds. We'll probably start with the uh, cutting compound, the red one, and then move on to the finishing. Okay, you can really see some of the swirl marks. There are some right there. Yeah, they're all over this hood. And this car is a 2021, so it's not brand new. And it's been through the car wash a bunch. This is the Ford Edge. It's kind of a good start to see what we're working with. Um, and we'll do our best to uh, clear that up. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is just a little spray on the hood. Try to get some of the little bits of dust off. Okay, I've got the Chemical Guys V36, which is a cutting polish, and we'll start with that. It's not their strongest one, um, but it's also not the finishing polish yet either, so this is the step below that. All right, it's a little thicker than I expected it to be. That over my shoulder. Luke's very curious about what you're doing. Hey, Luke. All right, let's see where we want to start. This curve in the hood is a little tricky. I think I'm going to try to do this part here and then just roll over that. All right, so. This may be too big of an area to do first, but we'll see how it goes. I really don't know yet. Okay, so I've got the material in there. I'm gonna start it on one and then get it spread out and then I'm going to rotate it up to probably about four and see how that goes. So, start with the unit on there. I'm not adding any pressure, just the weight of the unit. Hold it tight, control it, and hope this works. I'm just trying to spread the material around right now. All right, here we go. I'm going to use a microfiber cloth now and wipe that off. Yeah, I didn't really cut enough to get the scratches off there like I thought it would. I mean, from this angle, it looks, I see less, but from the side angle, you can still see some, I think. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, from the front, like if you stand right here from the front, I think you see less if they do over here. Mm 
Maybe I should try just a smoother part of the hood right here in the front. You can definitely see where the shine starts, but it didn't get the scratches out. Okay, I just tried this with the orange pad, which is the strongest pad with the V32 Extreme, which is the heavy duty compound. And it definitely did clear up more of the scratches. So what we're learning is that we need to use the heavier compound with the heavier pad to get some of these scratches out. Yeah, that did a really good job in that one section that I just did with that. There's still some there, but boy, they're really, it's really hard to see them now. So I'm gonna keep going with that and finish this section of the hood here with the uh, stronger cutting compound. And then we'll come back when we're done with that. You can see I did a much larger area here. So now I'm gonna wipe the compound off. Oh yeah, that is looking really good. I can still see a few little swirl marks, but boy, those scratches are gone. That's nice. So it's good to find out that, yeah, you can use the stronger pad and the stronger cutting compound and not damage your paint. That's really what I was worried about was using too much too fast and damaging the paint. If anything, it could be a little stronger than it is. Um, I'm running it on a four setting. So I may be able to crank that up to six and see how that does next time. But yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about that. I think I'm maybe gonna play a little more with it and then we'll do this car next, the Shelby GT350. Now this is a white paint. It's a little dusty right now because it's been sitting in the garage for the winter. Um, and I will have to tape off the vinyl stripes, obviously. I don't know if you can buff polish over vinyl, so I don't really want to find out the hard way that you can't. But maybe if you know, you can comment below and give me your advice. Um, in the right light, I can see some light swirls in this paint. It's not nearly as much as the Ford Edge because this car has never been through a um, drive through car wash. I've always hand washed this car. So this is really going to be more of a light cutting and polishing job. But yeah, the Edge is definitely looking better where I've, where I've used that. So I'm happy, happy with the results. Happy being that I didn't mess anything up and that it looks a little better. Okay, I've switched to the finishing pad and I've sprayed some of the pad conditioner on it. And now I'm going to try to use the V38 finishing polish. So we're going to use this on that same area. Gosh, you have to sp spread it out. Put a hand here. I don't know.
That's a lot better. Oh yeah, it is. You can tell where you did it, for sure. Yeah. Still, it's not perfect. Yeah, to, yeah, yeah. you have to have kind of see it's a... Yeah. It looks really good, but it's not perfect, right? I guess the, the moral of the story here is to go ahead and use the stronger cutting compound for uh and you think you're got a little line, line of stuff right there yeah okay. yeah like right through here there's a lot of little little scratches yeah but you move on down and they get mm -hmm. they disappear yeah you start going down right here and mm -hmm. they disappear like right here yeah where you did the did the work not completely not completely but probably what 90 percent yeah speaking of edges i think i'm going to try play around with edges here on the side of the edge hood. See how that turns out. Okay, what I learned doing that is that when you have edges like this, if you run a, run the, in this direction over the edge and you kind of go up and over quickly so you're not sitting on the edge, try to stay flat as you're going up and over. And then run along this side up and then go down this side and try not to sit on the edge as you're going long ways. That seemed to work pretty that seemed to work pretty well. Now I'm gonna wipe the material off and see if I'm right. Oh yeah, that's nice. Look at that. Look at that. Oh yeah. Nice metallic flake, no scratches. Beautiful. That's a rock chip right there, so we're not gonna do any, be able to do anything about that. But One thing I noticed too is this compound dries pretty quickly on the pad, and if you use it again, you just get these little flakes that fly off. I sprayed a little conditioner on it this time before using it the second time to try to see if I could prevent some of that from happening. But it doesn't seem to hurt anything. So, yeah, overall, I'm really happy with the results. Um, I'd like to go over it now with the polishing pad and finish that up and get it it all shiny um i did wash the polishing pad out so i'm gonna have to wait for that to dry off a little bit i think so there's still some light scratch marks in there you know it's not perfect i'm not gonna claim that it's perfect right now but i don't think i would be happy enough with it to go ahead and do the ceramic coat i think i'd want to do a little more work on it um but i'm not ceramic coating this car right now so i'm not too worried about that um but yeah a couple of these little scratches and all that are still in the car if i was going to ceramic coat over this uh, i would want to do a little more work on it and see if i can't get some some more of those out but overall for what this is and for the purpose of practicing a little bit i'm very happy that uh one the car is still red uh, two, it doesn't look like we went through any of the clear coat. And three, it looks good. So, yeah. That was the order of priorities today. Yeah. Supervisor Luke is still in the job. Good boy. I just want to show how easily this cleans off. The orange one did look like the black one looks now. And I sprayed some of the cleaner on it. <clears throat> Rub that off a little bit with the microfiber. And then with a little bit of warm water. You can see it's coming right off. And then all you have to do is wring it out and dry it off. See that? 